Behavior Designer is integrated with Uscript and this video is going to show how the two talk to each other. I'm going to be mostly following the documentation that's available online. And with that, let's get started. So Behavior Designer is installed and Uscript is installed. And the first thing that we need to do is extract this Unity package called Uscript Assets. We're doing this because Behavior Designer does not have the Uscript classes installed by default because you need Uscript in order for these classes to not cause a compile error. So you have to perform this one-time step. And if you noticed, after you get it imported, you'll have a new action called Start Uscript. So let me click on the Uscript behavior tree and add a really simple behavior tree. We're going to have a sequence task and then we're going to have two Uscript tasks. And the Uscript tasks are going to be children of this sequence task. So if we look at the properties for this Uscript task, you can say that there's a Uscript game object property. And this is going this is what's used to kind of point towards the Uscript graph. So we are going to create two Uscript graphs. One is going to return true or return success in the end, and the other is going to return failure in the end. So might as well just get started with that. We'll open up Uscript. And as you can see from the documentation, we're going to create a pretty basic graph. It's going to take a signal to actually start the graph. There's going to be a little bit of a delay just to see that you can see that it's actually doing something. We're going to set that bool that I was talking about and then we're going to resume the behavior tree. So the first step is to add the signal which is available under events then signal. This start signal is triggered when behavior designer is starting the task. This end signal is triggered when behavior designer ends the task prematurely, such as if there was an interrupt or something on the task above or on the parent above the current Uscript task. So for this video we're just going to focus on start signal. So the first node that we want to add is a delay just to kind of show that it is actually doing something and we'll set the duration to three seconds. So the start signal goes to the delay and after the delay, we want to set a bool value to true or false depending on which graph. So after the delay, let's set it to true for this graph. And then we'll add one last node, and it's under Actions, Utilities, Resume Behavior Tree. And this is going to actually resume the behavior tree from executing. It's going to return to the task whatever status we give it. And we need that status by setting this bool to true or false. So let's go ahead and link it up here. Now right now you can see after the delay it's going to set it to true and then this resume behavior tree is going to return that, that true status. This true status kind of corresponds with success. And we need one more variable and that is a game object. to point towards the instance of both of these nodes. Now let's assign this variable to the very first graph. And we can go ahead and save it out. We'll call this one success. And we do not want to assign it to the master game object. Let's do, go ahead and do the other one right now and we'll drag in Uscript graph 2 Sure did that, all right. And after the delay, we want to return false instead of true. And that's all it takes. So now this, this graph is going to return failure. So we'll go ahead and save this one as failure. Again, do not want to assign it to the master game object. So that's all it takes. I'm going to close Uscript, and the first thing that I want to do is assign the success component to graph 1, and then I want to assign the failure component to graph 2. Now within the behavior tree again, I want to take this very first task, and I want this task to return success, so I'm going to take the success graph and return 
that, and then this one should return failure, so I'm going to take the failure graph and, and assign it to there. That's all that it, it needs, and now when I run this graph, or when I run this behavior tree, this first node should start executing. It should take about three seconds, since that's how long the delay was within uScript. Then it should return, and then it should start this one, since this task returned success. So if I hit play, let's, let's see if it does that. So the first task is running, it completed, now the second task is running. After the second task gets running, there's no more tasks to execute, so the behavior tree is done. Let me go ahead and reverse the order just so you can see that it is actually doing something, or it is doing what we said it should do. This task is now going to return failure, and since it's a sequence node, it should stop the execution. So we should only see this very first task light up. And there we go. So it worked like we expected. And that's all it takes in order to integrate with Uscript. Just to kind of do one more quick overview, what you really need to get it all working is just this behavior tree start signal and then this resume behavior tree. And you can do whatever you want in the middle, such as performing some action or checking a condition.